We're in Microsoft Excel 2013. I'm going to show you how to use the subtotal option when you have columns or rows grouped. So first thing, we want to make sure we're in the Data tab. And then we'll go ahead and select columns. And then we'll go ahead and choose to group them. Once we've grouped them, now we can go over to the subtotal option. And we can choose whichever options that we want here. We're going to go ahead and choose all of them. And we'll click OK. And now we see subtotals for each of these different ones. And it created a whole new column to make that work. Let's go ahead and undo that just by hitting the undo button. And we can do the same thing over here by choosing to group. And we're going to choose rows. And now we're going to choose subtotal. And we're going to get a new message here. It's going to say, it's going to say I cannot determine uh, which ones you want to group. So if you'd like to, go ahead and click OK, and it will just figure it out for itself. So we'll go ahead and choose the abs add the subtotal to these two options here. And then it creates a whole new column and adds in that information. And again, if we don't want that, we can just go ahead and undo. So that is subtotal using groups in Microsoft Excel.